and we begin this midday with the latest local concern about the dengue fever virus now confirmed in Key West. The Centers for Disease Control is worried enough to issue a warning to South Florida health agencies to be on the lookout for people who may be carrying it. News Channel 5's Liz Nunez has spent the morning at the Palm Beach County Health Department and she joins us now live with an update. So Liz, first explain to folks why this virus can be so dangerous. Well, Lauren, dengue fever is a flu-like illness. It's spread by the bite of an infected mosquito. And concern comes with the fact that right now there is no cure for it and no sure way to prevent it from spreading. Now, health officials say they launched the study of antibodies after three dengue cases suffered in Key West last August. Officials say 39 residents and visitors have actually come down with a mosquito-borne illness. And they tested 240 homes and found 5% had active dengue or dengue antibodies. They're the first locally acquired cases reported in the state in four decades. And while there have been no reported cases here in Palm Beach County, officials say there's always the fear it could be headed our way. We've been tracking and watching for a number of years. Uh, this is just uh, evidence now that it's probably re-emerging here in the United States. So we've contacted all of the physicians in the area to consider this as a diagnosis. Now, officials tell me severe symptoms typically begin three to seven days after the first signs of infection. But if you suspect you have been bitten by an infected mosquito, you should see your doctor right away. Liz Nunez, WPTV News Channel 5.